Hi, I'm Dr. Emka Makshaya, open source software evangelist and also a freelance web uh, full stack developer. Uh, I created a small application just recently, uh, which is, I named it as Smart TTG, which means Smart Timetable Generator, something like that. And there's nothing so, so special about the uh, title, but I do this kind of uh, activities in order to help my students uh, learn programming languages uh, in data science and analytics and often also helps helps me uh, I mean just for practice uh, to teach my subjects uh, rather more effectively kind of thing um, uh, coming to this application this is just a small uh, Python uh, web application which helps uh, very small s size uh, academic institutes to generate uh, smart timetables I mean timetables uh, creating uh, timetables in academic institutes is not a simple task uh, especially if there are reasonable number of uh, subjects with uh, quite a few teaching faculty members uh, it is always better to have some certain system that can design um, and by the way I'm not telling you that this is going to take uh, care of uh, start to end uh, needs of uh, timetable generation at some point in time uh, human involvement is very much necessary while scheduling the classes or planning for a term uh, level uh, schedules uh, this application is going to surely will help uh, uh, creating preliminaries or maybe designing a framework uh, later Mm, by human involvement uh, that can be tuned well in order to meet the requirements of the um, timetables of a given academic institute now uh, coming to this application just have to go to the smart TTG you have to go to my github uh, repo where uh, you'll find this application with the name smart TTG uh, this is the main uh, application which is which is named as timetable dot or a or rare this is a rare archive because I did this in Windows so I installed uh, WinRAR application in my computer and so I compress this my source uh, uh, using WinRAR and you have to go to this green uh, you, you need to press this green button clone or download and download the zip so once you do that and your RAR file looks like this let me yeah this is the RAR file and when you uh, extract then that is going to create a, a directory and this is the directory inside you will find two folders with an application now if you are in Windows 10 you don't need to start this application like a programmer which means you don't need to go to terminal and write Python you just have to double press double click this file app.py and then in your server starts because this is a web application now you need to copy the URL go to the uh, browser copy paste then start the application now there are few inputs this application requires few inputs obviously as every application system means processing the inputs and creating outputs something like that so weights you need to give these are the weights which you would like to define for subjects I am going to uh, design a timetable for six subjects I call them as subject 1 subject 2 subject 3 4 5 6 something like that and uh, we need to define weights because this application depends on a particular module called random and in random there is a function choice choices I'm sorry so this choices function needs three arguments or maybe input parameters so one of the important parameters is weights this weight indirectly uh, denotes um, maybe the number of classes that we are expecting from this list of subjects per week something like that and you can come and define how many number of classes you would like to have you can just uh, write any number here but as long as that meets the requirement and meaningful to generate a weeks long timetable for your institute 
Now we need to define the shape uh, parameters. These parameters are going to help us um, uh, define the structure of the matrix, I mean the timetable uh, dimensions, because the timetable is just a, a data matrix which you need to have at least needs two dimensions. Uh, number of rows and columns, something like that. So this number of classes should uh, be the multiple result of the multiplication of these two shape uh, parameters or the dimensions. Now you see five fours are twenty. Is you can also choose something like five, but it should be twenty five. If you are not doing this, then your application will um, uh, produce error message and it will stop working. Now press submit. There will be another route where you can edit. Uh, suppose uh, I have two two classes here. It all depends on the policy of the institution. Sometimes we may have to put uh, if this subject two is mathematics or statistics, then um, there is nothing wrong uh, providing subsequent I mean two hours to this subject simultaneously one after the other just like you know subject for so suppose if you if that is not the case you are expecting then you can just uh, amend these results because this is just an input requirement so you have two mm, subject to two, subject two assigned two times in the first day and subject four assigned again two times and there is subject five if it is okay for you, you can just leave that if it is not okay for you, then you can change this into subject one, subject two, subject four, subject again into subject three. Think we, you can change this as subject three, something like that. Little, I mean, as I said, uh, even though we have a system, some little uh, because timetable generation is not. Uh, I mean, creating an application for timetable uh, is not a simple task, and uh, it is just a matter of random data creating data points randomly some human involvement is necessary to create the so once you finish and you think that this is okay then you have to press okay now your matrix looks like this now there is a small um, uh, input requirement here suppose if you want to convert this into a pdf file sometimes we want to do that in order to uh, distribute it to across the department maybe to your faculty members something like that so what you need to do just press anywhere in this uh, web page control save then it will um, uh, prompt for you you have to save this as a htm file so this htm file into some of your i'm going to save exactly in my project directory now i you have to go to that uh, directory and open the file or you can just right click on the and you see you have the in properties you got the path uh, path for this file you have to say copy this path and then you need to use this path here and I am please be cautious that you need to uh, put the you also have to uh, write the file name at the end of the path that is the full path otherwise it is not a path kind of thing so I'm going to copy then make file if you press this then it will create uh, right now this uh, PDF file is a little bit buggy and it is still in development le stage and in my future I mean um, versions I may be able to develop further and provide you a nicely designed PDF format and at the same time, uh, we can also do that for at the commercial level. Um, please contact to contact at bsc-cs.com. Feel free to write to this email ID, which you can also find in my, I mean, the documentation in the documentation of the application, uh, so that we can just this, since this is a free application, this is how the format looks like. If you really wanted to design your own timetable for your institute, then you can you have to write to this email ID, so that will provide you the advanced version on consultation basis. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned to the new content always. If you like my video, please don't forget to press like button, subscribe to my video channel. Thank you.